example number 3. Okay, so we have here um, transform negative 2x squared plus 10x minus 9 into vertex form. Our A is equal to negative 2 or less than 0. The first step, of course, is to separate quadratic term and linear term from the constant term. So we have that one. And then, step two, factor out, of the, uh, out the coefficient of quadratic term. So we have here. Then, again, let me show you how uh, to factor out negative two. So let's continue. So actually, the same um, process. Okay. So copy. Then we need to factor out negative two. So what we're going to do is divide uh, this quadratic term by negative two and also this linear term by the same number negative two. So what will happen is negative two x squared divided by negative two is positive x squared. Then let us take plus here as the sign of ten. So positive 10x divided by negative 2 the result is negative 5 and we will make that as minus 5x then uh, minus 9 copy minus 9 and and the negative 2 here becomes our factor okay earlier this is the uh, what, what we want to factor out so it now becomes a factor okay so for step 3 we have here complete the perfect square trinomial no? so x squared minus 5x is not yet complete because there is no constant term so now this is now the, uh, the expression when you complete the perfect square trinomial how we get this how do we have plus 25 over 4 and plus 25 over 2 okay let me let me show you Okay, so let us take the coefficient of x. Now, the coefficient of x is, of course, 5. And then, we multiply 5 by 1 half. That becomes 5 over 2, its product. Or we can divide 5 by 2, and the quotient is the same, 5 over 2. So, after this, we square the product or the quotient 5 over 2. That is the square of 5 over 2, which becomes 25 over 4. And that is what we are going to copy. So we have here plus 25 over 4. How about plus 25 over 2? So let me show you again. So we copy the negative 2. Then 25 over 4 which we have obtained earlier multiply them and the product is negative 25 over 2 why 2 because neg uh, 2 here and 4 here can be reduced in uh, to lowest term dividing bo uh, divide dividing each by uh, positive 2 so we have here negative 25 over 2 now, we are go only going to take the opposite of negative 25 over 2, which is positive 25 over 2. And that is what we are going to write here. So, we added plus, we added positive 29 over 2. Okay. So, for our step 4, now, we... We focus on the simplification in step 4 since we are dealing with fractions here. Okay, so simplify negative 9 plus 25 over 2 can be written as uh, negative 9 multiplied by 2 over 2 plus 25 over 2. Where did we get 2 over 2 here? By the way, 2 over 2 is 1. But how did we get 2? So that the divisor here is used to multiply no? so 2 over 2 so the result now is uh, negative 18 over 2 plus 25 over 2 that is what I mean yes that is what we have done here okay how about positive 7 over 2 ok 
Okay, so negative 18 plus 25 all over 2 since they have the same denominator. So we have this uh, negative 18 plus 25 all over 2. So that is uh, simplified to positive 7 over 2. That's what we are adding here. Okay? okay I hope you were able to follow. And finally, our step 5. We're going to factor the perfect square trinomial, no? So, this is a perfect square trinomial. Why? Because um, the quadratic term is, of course, a perfect square. And the constant term is also a perfect square. And the middle term is actually... Um, the product of... Okay, so... We have this one earlier, di ba? Okay, so let's continue so, so that we will not be confused. Okay, so let us copy the perfect square uh, terms. So we have here, okay, x squared and the square of 5 over 2. No? So then we copy x. We copy the operation in the middle term. And we copy... Um, this 5 over 2 or the base of this expression so therefore the vertex form of negative 2x squared of the function defined by negative 2x squared plus 10x minus 9 is y equals the product of negative 2 and the square of the difference of x and 5 over 2 then plus 7 over 2 Okay, so that's it for our example number 3. Now, let us proceed to our self-check, guys. No? Let us see if we have understood uh, what we have discussed. No? Okay, now wait. Why is it that there is a house lizard here? Now, I think the house lizard is interested to learn our lesson. and It is taking our uh, self-check uh, slide. Okay, it's... Uh, borrow it from the house lizard okay so comment down your answers if you may so number one we have here the problem and the choices number two we have the problem and of course the choices and of course we have number three and the choices and number four with the corresponding choices now, guys, I have here a challenge for you. No? So, I want you to answer this one. Transform y equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 in vertex form. No? It seems the expression is easy. But I want to make this as a challenge. Uh, pero, I think, sa uban, uh, for some, uh, this is easy. But, of course, for others, this might become difficult. Now, let me see in the comment section how you answer this uh, problem. Um, you will be dealing with uh, uh, fractions here, a lot of fractions here. That's why I make it as a challenge. Okay, guys.